so let's look back to the 20th century where there was a gradual shift from monarchy to democracy. From a king, there was an elected representative government, a body for the people, of the people, and made by people. The policy of one person, one vote made huge differences when it came to the constitution of power. With earlier monotony of only one person being able to make all decisions for the country, now it is us as citizens. This policy also had a great impact on communities that were hit hetero backward and pushed political parties to work for the welfare of the people. It is indeed true that voting is a very essential feature of democracy. But now the question arises, should voting be made compulsory? In fact, there are 21 countries across Americas, Europe and Asia Pacific that have imposed voting as a civic duty. Unsurprisingly, countries with compulsory voting tend to have a much higher turnout. In Belgium, Turkey and Australia, three nations with compulsory voting, the turnout was 87.2% in 2014, 86.4% in 2011 and 80.5% in 2013 respectively. This compares with just 53.6% turnout in 2012 in the United States where there is no legal obligation to vote. Turnout doesn't get close to 100% even when voting is compulsory because the laws were not strictly enforced, yet its impact is too high. People who are less educated or have low incomes considered are socially backward typically turn out in fewer numbers compared with other socio-economic groups. They are pushed more heavily into the immigrant group and minorities. Low turnout is unhealthy in a democracy. It leads to less effective, less responsive and less legitimate government. With more people voting, there would be questions raised on the working of the government and it would lead to more transparency within the country. People would know if any illegal or corrupt activities are going on in the but as modern the idea of mandatory voting sounds, it is also quite dangerous. We should know that in a democracy as citizens, we have the upper hand and it is a very huge responsibility to elect a representative which can be beneficial for the country. Mandatory voting can give rise to uninformed voters. Thomas Jefferson once said, we do not have the government by majority, we have it by the majority who participate. Another major disadvantage of mandatory voting is that often people who are less aware of political issues political parties tend to vote, which can lead to a majority and a huge risk of making the wrong choice. The impact of random votes ends up being particularly detrimental because it fails to increase civic engagement and may skew election results. But let's think about a situation when our voting rights turn into a duty. Belgium is a country that has been using compulsory voting since the longest time. And if you don't vote, you may have to pay fine or even face prosecution. In Singapore, if you don't vote, you can be disfranchised, which means a citizen's voting rights can be withdrawn. In Peru and Greece, the public goods and services can be withdrawn from an individual if he or she does not vote. In Brazil, your passport can be taken away if you do not vote. And in Bolivia, which is a South American country, citizens can be barred from withdrawing their three months' salary. In these countries, citizens are obliged to vote and therefore can face many dangerous consequences if they don't. In my opinion, of course, compulsory voting is very important for an effective government, but only if the voters know what they're signing up.